Hi, first period. Hi, third period. I am not in class right now, as you see. I'm actually at the front office, and I have to be in a few meetings. I wanted to demonstrate to you guys what you're going to be doing today with the building blocks and then your homework. For building blocks, we are going to create three elements using building blocks. I'm going to represent oxygen with blue, carbon with red, hydrogen with yellow. So I put them in the box. All right, we're talking about how elements become compounds. For them to be a compound, it must be two different elements that are chemically combined. So for example, CO2, which is carbon dioxide, all right, is going to be one carbon, right, and it's going to be two oxygen. Now right now, this is a mixture because they are not chemically combined. I am going to chemically combine them in this demonstration by attaching the blocks, and now I've made a completely different substance, which is carbon dioxide, which is what we breathe out. For water, it's going to be represented by two hydrogens and one oxygen. So hydrogen is going to be two yellow and one blue. So right now we have a mixture. They're not chemically combined, so they're two gases. But when we chemically combine them, they become a whole other substance, which is a liquid, which is the water that we drink. All right, for methane, as you can see, it's going to be one carbon. So carbon that's represented here is one, one carbon. Then it's going to be four hydrogens. I can tell because there's a four behind the hydrogen here. So I'm going to put them together. Are they a compound right now? No, this is a mixture. They need to be chemically combined. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be funky with this one, kind of make it silly. There we go. I have chemically combined them. So now they make up the formula CH4, which is methane. So although I'm not gonna pass out the blocks for you guys today, you are going to draw this and, uh, on this worksheet, and then you're going to glue this worksheet into your journal. I'm gonna show you guys how to draw uh, 3D boxes if you don't already know how. You're going to make a square. Then you're just gonna do a little angle on top like this. Then you're going to connect the corners. You can pick whatever color you'd like for oxygen. Just make sure if it's this color in here, like red, it is going to be two reds, one red, and then there should be no red in here. It can be whatever color, just make sure it matches. Um, with the compounds to make 3D boxes, you're gonna connect all of them like I'm doing right now. All right, then you're going to make an angle just like we did over here. All right, but this time you're gonna make the angle go all the way to the end like that. All right, and then connect like so. Make sure you color then this one a different color than the other two. All right, if all else fails and you're just not very good at art, all you need to do is just draw boxes like this and color them in. There's gonna be colored pencils at the lab table. All right, now turn to your homework, which is counting elements and atoms. All right, guys, for this homework, you're going to find the compound chemical formula, which is in this column. All right, this is gonna be calcium fluorine, all right? You're going to list the elements in the chemical formula. I can tell that this is going to be one element, which is calcium right here, because it has a capital letter at the beginning, but then the lowercase, which represents just one element. That's the way we correctly write elements formulas. Then the F is just one capital letter, so I know it's its own element. I'm going to look at my periodic table, and I find that CA is represented by calcium. And I see that F is represented by fluorine. So I've listed the element, elements in the chemical formula. I can see that there's two elements in this formula, calcium and fluorine. So that's going to be two elements. However, the atoms might be different. If you look over here at this formula, CA doesn't have a number behind it. That means there's only one CA or calcium element. All right, so that's going to be one CA. Then I can see behind fluorine is two, so that's going to be two Fs or two fluorines. 1 plus 3 is going to be, or excuse me, 1 plus 2, I just told you all the answer, is going to be 3. So that's going to be the number of atoms. You guys have the rest of the class to work on these two assignments.